Okay, so I alluded earlier to expandability. This is one of the expansion options, and I was very pleased to get this uh, in boxed condition because I have seen this before offered for sale uh, loose, but I've never actually seen one in a box until I was able to pick it up in a lot uh, I purchased on eBay. And this is the Spectre Video SV603. It's an adapter for ColecoVision games. Now on the expansion port on the back of the 318 or 328, uh, we can just plug this unit in, and lo and behold, we now have the ability to play ColecoVision games. Now note that this particular unit has been retrofitted with a reset button. This is not part of the standard, as you see on the pictures here, there's no reset button uh, to be found, but someone uh, and I believe in a uh, Australian Spectre Video Club, maybe some hardware guru, has added this uh, game reset button, which is kind of neat. And then we have uh, various expansion modules. Uh, I've got some boxed, I've got some loose. These are things like 80 column cards for running CPM. RAM expansion, Centronics interface, disk drive interfaces, uh, etc. If you want to add one of these um, expansion modules, there was a few different options provided. First off, there was a single port expansion um, adapter that allowed you to plug in one expansion module at a time to the uh, Spectre Video 318 or 328. A much uh, preferred option would be to use an expansion box and uh, for that there was two different models made available. And guess what, I just happen to have one. This one here is the uh, SV601 Super Expander box which allows you to add uh, various peripherals uh, and more than one device at a time. So check this baby out, uh, again complete with the you know, styrofoam, original styrofoam inserts, I have the SV601 Super Expander. Now if I pop the lid on this, you'll see that it contains a power supply, uh, a voltage uh, converter, and no less than seven different slots, three of which are populated. I've got a printer interface, Centronics 80 column card and uh, a floppy disk controller and again could add other other modules as well uh, as you need them or require them uh, also I should note that in this uh, particular purchase uh, it came also with this rather unique card and it's obviously a homebrew project and from what I can determine based on the chipset that's on this sucker, it's some kind of a speech synthesis. Now I've tried to contact uh, some former members of the Australian uh, Spectre Video Club to kind of research this and uh, haven't really come up with too much information on how it was used or what software might support it. So if anyone viewing this video has information on this uh, homebrew speech synthesis card for the Spectre Video 318 or 328, if they could let me know, that would be much appreciated. Of course, uh, the tapes are okay. They loaded fairly slowly, but what uh, the serious Spectre Video enthusiast would want is, is a disk drive, a floppy disk drive. So as I can show you here I have not only one but two complete SV902 floppy disk drives five and a quarter inches uh, single-sided and through the expansion module or an expansion uh, single slot expansion device we can hook up um, floppy disk drives to run CPM um, and basic software applications and games uh, here's one here, again complete and with the styrofoam and an all in great condition. One of the floppy drives with the ribbon cable. And if I can just pop this out for a sec. There we go. 
looks like this one was set up as uh, dry B. Nice to have a nice uh, protector in there, so I'm going to stop the heads and things flopping around. That's the disk drive. So that was my collection for of uh, Spectre Video, uh, f shall we say, first generation uh, computers. The SVI 318, there was a 318 Mark II, which I showed you. Uh, there was a 328. They even made a 328 Mark II. Again, maybe some enhancements or improvements over the initial design. But ultimately, the evolution of the Spectre Video line of computers culminated with the, more or less, the definition of the MSX standard. 